August 27th on the island of Melit, I offered him a flower for his robe. Yes, adore me. Think of me everywhere for I am in every place, and your thought is sweet to me. Aren't you always before my face? You could never take me by surprise for I am there, waiting for you. What a happy meeting. August 30th, after a shower of rain. You see all these tiny pools of water mirroring the sky. Look thoughtfully, and tranquilly at God. He alone is worthy of your contemplation. See him only, and you will reflect him. After communion. As the host came to my heart, I was thinking of the clothes strewn on the Savior's path and tried to lay down my understanding, my memory and my will at his feet. Give all your loving attention to each little moment. Think of this all your life through. Nothing of the past. Nothing of the future. Only the present moment of love. September 10th in Grand's Church. Why should you begrudge the help you give your neighbors? Don't forget that in serving them you are serving me. That should give you courage, and you'll need great courage to become holy. Never lose sight of the goal holiness, that means to be always in readiness for me to belong to me utterly. It's so very simple believe me. Would I ever ask anything that was too difficult for you? Just live in my love holy, one moment at a time. Drive out all worries, all idle dreaming. Don't complicate things. Give me your soul simply. I am all simplicity. Wasn't I very simple in my prayer in the garden of Gethsman? And in the hands of the men who put me to death, even on my cross? Did I seem like a god? In the same way, my children, your only greatness is the love in the secret tabernacle of your heart. Nothing need be seen. You may always remain in my heart without anyone knowing, but this is the Father's glory. Don't fail to supernaturalize everything, night and day. It is my life that is living in you now, not yours. Adore. Give thanks. And when I ask you to be simple, I mean above all in your relations with me. Don't get the idea that I need any special words or gestures, just be yours off. Who is closer to you than God? September 17th, the Fresen. I never remember your faults when I have forgiven you. You are hidden beneath my white robe. September 24 fainted in church. More and more, loosen your hold on the things of the world. Isn't the meeting day drawing near for you and me? Little signs like this are like the three taps before the curtain rises. Make eager and joyful preparations to appear on that other stage beyond. Practice the role of the impatient lover about to possess the object of her dream the most beautiful of all dreams sure that it will surpass all that you have ever imagined. From now on ask me in your communion to atone for any way, in which you have grieved me in your past life. When you receive me like this I penetrate every part of you, each one of your faculties, your blood and I restore you according to your wish. I continue to be your brother minus saviour, because my love never ceases. And since I am action itself, I never come to you without acting. So thank me for what I do in you and give yours off up to me, wishing with all your heart that nothing in you escape my close embrace. Leaning on my heart say, beloved lover, give me one sinner a day so that I may give him to you. September 30th, in Grand's Church. In the host my heart is beating as it did on earth, as it does in heaven. There are not many hearts of Christ. There is only one. Believe without the shadow of a doubt in my presence here before you and comfort me by bringing your heart close to mine. Look how alone I am in this empty church. I knew it would be like this. And yet I instituted my Eucharist. I would feed even a single soul. Speak with the host as with your most gentle and intimate friend. The host is listening to you, and you may be sure that you are most dearly loved. Breathe freely. Relax. Leave the earth. Enter the realm of spirit. Let yours off be carried away. Do you want to come? Tell me about your impatience to join me and your faithfulness to me. You are mine. How could you keep yours off to yours off? Absent-minded. You see my Jesus how my thoughts go skipping about. Tell me about it. 
Humble yourselves off. You are in my heart. Oh, if you only knew the power of humility. And I asked his pardon for always saying the same things. What does that matter since it's all about love? October 8th, the Fresen Church. I said, we are here all by ourselves as though we were locked in. All the month of the rosary call my mother Our Lady of Love and say Our Lady of Love, give me love. How can you make progress all by yours off? Let yours off be carried in stronger arms, just as you did when you were little. Don't be ashamed of being weak and imperfect. Be smaller still. I'll only love you the more. Don't lose sight of the path of spiritual childhood. Cultivate your confidence, let it blossom as a flower. You can trust me, can't you? Look back. Don't you find that I'm worthy of it? My friend, don't put any limits to your feelings for me. I put none to mine for you. Come to me, little by little, your heart on fire at the moment of death. Find a sweeter name for death. Call it the meeting and even now, even though you can scarcely see me in the twilight of time you will stretch out your arms to me. Oh, the charm of an impatient heart longing to be enfolded in mine. Lord, my little words for you are so poor. Get one of your angels to put them into poetry. My love listening to them makes them sublime. October 20th, in Grand's Church. Your home is also mine. Put it in order make it beautiful for both of us. Think of me as always with you even your dress, your gestures will show it. Jesus is there only say this to yours off and you will be still, listening. Do it with love not fear. You know one of the names Jesus gives himself a lamb, a poor lamb of God. Don't you like that name? It speaks of the gentleness of my heart, you remember. Gentle and humble. And since you should be like me in the Father's sight, practice these two qualities. Try again and again. Say to yours off I must go higher. Climbing is hard work, but you know I always help when you count on me and not on yours off. Never alone. Work with me your friend, your brother, your bridegroom. Oh my Gabrielle, don't lose a single minute of love, you will find it again eternalized. October 22nd Ingram's Church. This morning you discovered how a sacrifice joyously made is no longer a sacrifice. It is only what one refuses that is costly what one does half-heartedly. So up with your cross on your shoulder, and on your way. Near me, always nearer to me. Each thought for me, it's like your gaze lost in mine. Give me a look of tender confidence. I have confidence in you and yet, how little you are. So you may well put your trust in me, the infinite, the all-powerful. Remember that I can give you everything. But I like my children to ask me I love to feel your heartbeats, because you are my little, my most beloved children. November 12th, my little girl, you may be sure of this that even though I am no longer on earth, your neighbor is there. And your desire to love me, to receive me, to serve me and to give me rest, as in the home of Martha and Mary, may be realized in what you do for others. How ready you would be to smile at everyone if you could only see your Jesus in them. So remember this and don't economize your kindness. It is I myself who will receive it all. I have a thousand ways of responding to those who try to please me. Don't be astonished at your slowness to reach me but just keep asking for help from on high. On high that's where your heart should be. It should be always trying to take off to win its way upward. Don't deprive it of its flights. Isn't your life on earth drawing to a close? And don't you need to warm your heart more often in the secret place of the Most High? When someone is about to make a last voyage to a particular country doesn't he live through it, all in anticipation, holding the far horizons to his heart. Look forward to the departure then since it is to take you to your beloved. Say to him, it's time we saw one another. When will you unveil the sweetness of your face for me? Haven't I been traveling long enough in the desert? May I not leave this cold and barren earth to throw myself into your arms? Quicken my longing. Hasten my steps. No longer can any earthly tie hold me back.
Let my soul escape from its body as a bird from its cage, so that the breath you have given me may be lost in your divine being. I'll listen to your voice for I too am at work in you, preparing for our meeting. Where is my beloved? You will ask, not yet seeing me. But I'll be there all the time, since I am everywhere. My child, wait upon me in the silence. Offer yours off to the Father enfolded in my merits. Implore the spirit of love to give you love, and abandon yours off forever as I did at Golgotha. November 19th appeal often to my sensitivity. I am the sensitive one, though most people think I am aloof and indifferent. I'm nearer to you than you are, and every tender word my children say to me delights and charms my heart. Don't ever doubt it. More often you will come to me lovingly without seeing me. And this blind faith in me is great gain, both for you and for others. It's so easy for you to speak to me as to the matchless one in your heart. A glance and inward smile. Such simple things for you, and yet they mean so much to me. Give. I'm like a beggar, am I not? My love devises all sorts of ways of winning you. Give to this beggar who is waiting and whom you love. Later on the roles will be reversed it will be I who give, and you will find all your gifts again in mine. What an exchange! December 3rd The Fresen As I greeted Jesus in the host. Think of this, I was already a host in the Garden of Gethsman. Be one with me there. Say, my poor love I'm close beside you. And I'll take you into my heart. We'll offer ourselves to the Father. I need you so much in the garden. I was so lonely in my terrible anguish. Oh, my child, they're right inside my heart. Pray for sinners and know that you save them because my merits are infinite. December 16th, the Fresen Church. Don't worry. Since you can't do anything about these things, you don't need to bother about them. They're my concern. Just put them in my hands, and that's all that matters. Don't you need practice in trusting me? You know how I love your childlike confidence in me. These are moments to show how little you are and give me a chance to take care of you as a husband takes care of his wife, who is weak and needs love and a strong arm to lean on. No, it's not an illusion. You're not in error, only in the Shadowland. Just feeling your way by faith. I planned it this way. So throw yours off into my arms. Say that you believe that you hope that you love and commit your entire being to me. 1943. January 1st in the evening in my bedroom. The keynote for 1943. In each other's hearts. You will keep yours in mine and I'll be in yours. January 7th in Grand's Church. Give me your heartfelt adoration with the wise men. You know how people say to each other, I adore you. But for you it is your God, your incomparable one, your end. So adore him with every fiber of your being. And since you are nothing, yield yours off to the all. You grow greater when you humble yours off before me. I enfold you. Nothing in you escapes me, and I watch over you. Aren't you sometimes amazed to see that so many things work out well for you? That's because I am there, in my little girl who has put her trust in me. Make this your fixed rule, it is the purchase price of my blessings. Make efforts to belittle yours off before others. What good practice. Try again and again. Never let a chance to humble yours off slip by. It is the evening of your life on earth. Make haste before night falls. But take refuge often in my heart. You'll find that you make more progress there. Try. January 14th. Could any work be more beautiful in this last part of your life on earth than to help me save sinners? There are so very many. Wasn't that what made me suffer most in Gethsman? January 30th in my bedroom. Why should my people offer me only their trials? Don't you think your joys would please me just as much that is if you give them with as much love, your smallest joys with your greatest love? February 11th The Fresen Church They say that God is all kindness, and he is. You be the same with me. What a beautiful exchange. 
and how welcome each little thoughtful gesture will be. You'll understand later on. Get used to walking in the dark like the blind. Trusting my hand to guide you. You couldn't insult my heart more than to doubt it. My dear child so little and frail say to yours off again and again, where would I be without my great friend? He is everything and I am nothing. Just humble yours off when you stumble and fall. Remember how I paid the price stumbling and falling myself on the terrible road to Calvary. Let that encourage you in love. Haven't we said that love alone matters that the only tragedy in life is not to love God? Hope to help his cause with all your feeble resources. Make it your wish never to work for your own ends. Lose sight of yours off altogether, even of your inner self, wishing to remember nothing unless it be your infidelities, so that you may regret them. And wherever you are practice the presence of God. It will help you to love him, to have heart-to-heart -heart talks with him. Since I am there throw yours off joyously into my arms. Oh, this joy of yours. Don't forget it. It enhances your love. February 13th, After Communion. What you can't manage yours off the control of your words, or the thought of my presence, you will find easier with the help of my mother. Ask her to help you. I confided Mary Magdalene and the holy women to her. Be like them, don't leave her. Holy Thursday Lord, may I invite you to live in my lovely gardens for your comfort. You are the soul of the gardens and my blossoms are your soul thoughts. I forget my agony in the garden of Gethsemane, when I feel your warmth for sinners. And when you give me the love of your hearts, I forget Judas' hatred and greed. I was thinking how I had made a visit to the blessed sacrament twice this morning and twice in the afternoon, and that I was going to return for another visit in the evening. A whole day for me once a year. You think this is a great deal. My Eucharistic presence is there every day, every night, among you. I'm there full of tenderness, rich with blessings for the taking. Tell me then that one of your days is not too much. Remember the feast of my heart. Holy Saturday the Fresen Church. Rise from the dead. Rise with me to a new life, a better one to a life nearer to me. Always nearer to me. Beg me to help you, and be sure that I shall. Easter the Fresen Church. During the benediction I said, My poor love, risen from the dead. My love has never died. At every moment I have loved you. May 20th Ingrams Church. Fan the flames of your love. Fan the flames. Don't stand still. Never cease to go forward. Enter ever deeper and deeper into my heart. Reading about my passion is not enough. Make it part of your very self. Wherever you are, take my sufferings. Sufferings desired, willed, expected. They are my love for my children for you. When one has suffered so what can one refuse? Ask me to give you the grace to respond to this love of your God, and I'll light new fires in you that will amaze you. You will realize that it is not of your doing. It is from him who will say, and this will be the truth. You know how utterly weak you are. Tell me about it so that I can help you. If you saw an invalid content to be ill, you wouldn't try to heal him would you? But if he cried out to you to help him, you would do your best for him and if he thanked you, you would hold him to your heart. Open the secret tabernacle of your heart to me so that we may speak together of our new love. The words may be the same, but what an added weight of love. You will wonder how a single moment could ever pass by without me. Where your treasure is there is your heart. How long my desire has kept watch for you. Ask that I be all in all to you, and that you be wholly mine. You remember how at court you told me that you wanted it to be like that. Now is the time to translate your wish into your daily living for me. If you have nothing to say to me come and look at me in the secret tabernacle of your heart. You will never have to wait, for I shall already be there. You will come with your hunger, and I will read this need look of yours and satisfy it. Over, and above all that you ask or think. If you don't know what to say, just remain at my feet like Mary Magdalene, and I'll read your silence. 
I'm keeping such sweet joys for you, so be waiting in your secret shrine. I haven't many shrines like this on earth. July 7th Oneness. I come back to this thought again and again. Why do you live all alone when you can be in me at every moment? In me that's heaven itself, without the face-to-face -face vision and the rapture. Then practice this at one moment. Practice adoration and tenderness. If you could only see me as I really am, what would you not do? You would throw yours off at my feet. You would hold me to your heart thanking me for my sufferings and my blessings. You would ask my forgiveness for your willful faults and tell me again of your love. Act just as though you could see me. It's such good practice for your faith. And faith brings hope and love. July 15th picture me as a living being, loving you more than you could ever imagine even in your deepest longing. And keep before you the thought that this living being, who gave his life for you is waiting with infinite yearning for the moment of our meeting. Wouldn't you show him your impatience too? And your joy. Picture me often this way as a real person, not just someone near you, but actually in you. One whose presence never leaves you. A presence. What a fountain of joys. And a beloved presence too, as precious as life itself. No one is more beautiful than I for I am beauty. No one more intelligent for I am eternal mind. Do you really realize how gentle and compassionate I am for all I am so great? And that my face is full of charm and inexpressible sweetness? Ask me to soon unveil its creative beauty for you. Love will stream from every feature. Tell me how sorry you are for having grieved me. Be aware of the fact that very little keeps you from seeing me. Let your heart be stirred to its innermost depths as my eyes rest upon you. Don't you have something to say to me? Won't you give me the balm of your love? How the bridegroom smiles at the bride as she gets ready to lavish all her tenderness upon him, and if she finds words to express her love, I am the one who inspires them for I am love and I am in her words. At least praise me by your love will, and long to please me. Long to be my beloved companion, my attentive bride. And since I no longer have a mother on earth, be my mother too. Take the place of John and Mary Magdalene. And at the same time, be yours off. You, whom I wanted in this century, this period, this little moment of time on earth, my poor little bride. July 22nd, Lord, I should so much like to take Mary Magdalene's place on earth, because I know how sweet her love was for you. Offer it to me, Mary Magdalene's love. It is yours by the communion of saints for all time is present to me. You find it difficult to believe in this treasure that your God devised for you. But just lay hold of it in all its magnificence, even though it is beyond your understanding. Above all, believe it. All that I have thought out for my children, is for their good not for mine. Humble yours off in faith and love as Mary Magdalene did. Tell me often in secret of all the ways in which you have grieved my heart. Be deeply sorry. You know how my heart listens. And if your heart is moved as you confess, what do you think mine must feel? Oh, my child may love lift you above your usual ways. Like Mary Magdalene learned to be a new woman, even to giving up your all. The sacrifice most pleasing to God is a cleft and contrite heart. What deeper pain could you have than to have little love? So take all the love of the saints and give it to me as though for the first time. Ask Mary Magdalene to help you she who loved so much. July 29th, The Fresen Church My child, can't you understand that the trials I send you are all made to measure exactly fitted to your power to bear favors that draw you nearer to your beloved? Thank me for a little trial, as though it were a flower placed with new tenderness on your heart by your fiancé. Doesn't he find you more beautiful, when you suffer with gentle patience, united with his patience? Doesn't your soul take on, as it were a new expression full of love for him? Be flexible and docile in my hand. Always humble yours off, as though you had deserved to suffer. I am all innocence, yet I suffered everything imaginable. Wouldn't you like to suffer everything too so that we might be more one than ever? Do you think we're close enough now? Wouldn't you love to come closer? 
Has your love said its last word? Lose yours often gain by coming into me. There are many kinds of houses the home where one lives in intimacy with the bridegroom is the dearest of all, isn't it? And if you have understood this, why not make it your permanent residence? What could ever touch you there? You are in the arms of the incomparable one to whom you have entrusted everything your honor your belongings, your heart. He will use everything for your sanctification. This is the one great end to love God and to please him. What else matters my poor little girl? God. When you see him how you will want to have served him, to have loved him to have glorified him without counting the cost, and with all your heart. Don't be afraid of trials. They only help you to go higher. They make you love me more. And there I am waiting for you at the bend in the road. How will she overcome this difficulty? Will she ask me to help her? Will she give me her whole confidence at last in a childlike outburst of tenderness? Oh, the serenity of the one who has yielded everything to me. August 20th, Jusorida. Wherever you are, you are in me. You are all mine. Nothing but sin could ever separate us. You can't possibly escape my love. It is all-encompassing. Serve it. Wait upon me. How often I have served you in the outpouring of my tenderness. What have I not done for you, my dear little child? If you suffer, suffer with me. All these discomforts caused by the weather I bore them all like you on the open roads. Always be one with me in everything that happens to you. How I love this attitude being ready to merge. Isn't that love itself? A longing for at one moment. I garner up your faith, rewarding it with grace. And if you give yours off to grace, I respond by giving you a greater grace. And so step, by step you will soon rise to heights you never suspected. For there is no end to my gifts, and it is my joy to commune with you unceasingly. August 26, I gave you all you have. Am I not able to double my gifts? Am I less rich? Or do I love you less? I can sanctify you in an instant. But I love your long and patient work, it keeps you humble. Acquire loving humility, it will exalt you. Discouragement never elevates anyone. Keep going. Don't stop. I kept going on the road to Calvary, and in spite of such agony I got there. Look at me, and you will find new courage. And honor me by calling me to help you. September 16th Say often my creator, fulfill yours off in me. There's only one thing that I want that you may reign in me, as you reign in heaven. And I shall lay hold of you more avidly than a bird of prey. You have seen a devouring flame. Let yours off be taken swiftly. Instead of running away throw yours off into my arms and lose your bearings. I'll love you like that blind, letting me lead you. I am the good shepherd, my shoulders can carry more so take your place. September 30th The Fresson After the bombing of Nantes I regretted not having a truck to save my belongings. Why are you anxious? Am I not there to keep watch? Don't I know what you need? And what is best for you? Put everything in my hands and trust. Have you ceased to be my child? Have I ceased to be your father? My love knows no seasons. I am the changeless one. Just as I gave myself to you, so I remain. I was thinking of the strangers who had taken refuge in my home. Don't ever think that chance brought them to you. I chose these people. Do everything in your power to help them with the tact of an apostle bent on accomplishing his task. Put them in my care. Pray for them. Suffer for them. Didn't I suffer for everyone? Try to be like the beloved. Let them see my face in your face. The father will be charmed and will reward you richly. What will you not be able to obtain? Why do you ask so little? Come to us my child, and ease our longing to show compassion. Don't ever forget that the people around you are there in order that you may plead for them. You don't take a single step without me. How could you ever think that you are alone? I'm guiding every detail of your life. 
Let yours off be taken captive by my heart. October 7th, Montrealist Church. I was thanking him for having spared me the bombing. Always thank me. I give you so much. If I were to give you a trial, would you thank me? You should. I do everything for the good of souls. Never doubt this and believe in my love. Hope in my love. Love my love. If you love my love, you will welcome everything that comes from me, and you will act everywhere for me. If you hope in my love, you will no longer count on yours off. You will expect my help in every difficult situation. You will think I can't do anything, but there is nothing the beloved can't do. And full of trust and peace, you will take up your task of love again happy to toil day and night to console me. If only I were sure that I consoled him, you say. But keep in mind that I am man as well as God, and you may comfort me as one comforts a man. Don't be surprised at setbacks you were made for rest in heaven not on earth. So get used to living for eternity for nothing has the slightest importance in time that does not count for eternity. Judge everything in me and by me. My judgments are not always yours. Let the compassion of my heart flow through you to all who come near you. Let them see it in your smile, in your way of welcoming them. Oh, these contacts with others. How much good can come from them? But implant my name in your heart like a banner. October 15th in Grand's Church. My child, don't lose a single minute. Time is short for saving so many souls. It is not merely by praying that they are saved you know but through the actions of even the most ordinary lives lived for God. Offer me everything. Absolutely everything, united to my life on earth. What wealth. Give it to poor sinners, most of them are just ignorant. You have known and received so much. Take pains to help them. You will comfort this heart of mine so full of tenderness, and you will satisfy justice. Offer me all the crosses of the world. There are so many just now and few think of offering them to me in expiation for sins. You who do know help, so that nothing may be lost. Give me hearts. Give me souls. I am thirsty. Always. Lord, I want to die for the salvation of souls. Oh. Resemble me as much as possible. Say to yours off, I'll do this or that like him. And in this way you will grow and come closer to me. You know on earth the tenderness between my mother and me was so great that we had only one heart. Try to be like her by making your will one with mine, your great friend. Be ever ready to help others right to the very limit of your strength. You remember with what love I gave myself. In my public life in the midst of so many people all crowding around through self-interest. Seldom did I meet with love. They came to me through selfishness, yet my tenderness reached out to each one of them. Imitate me. Don't bargain with me. Don't complain. Go gaily. For my sake, isn't that a good reason for being full of joy? The only reason. Of course you can't think of it all the time, but in the morning say everything will be for you, my great friend. Then from time to time during the day, a little word such as this is for you. It will warm your heart and bring balm to mine. November 3rd you are worried about this holy hour. You think you won't use it well. But since we're together, count on me to make up for what you lack. Isn't that natural between friends? Wouldn't you do just the same for someone you love? Then I your God, your Savior. Just think of it. Be sure that no matter what you are doing I can help you, and I long to do so in the very depths of my heart aflame with love. How concerned I am for your perfection. You are my members. May my body be perfect. Keep your will closely knit with mine. Be my dream of you. November 11th The Fresen Church If you have failed in something you say, my dear all, I could have been more faithful today. Forgive me. You humble yours off most sincerely. And without your knowing it, I press you to my heart burning with love. That is what you call grace, and my grace is sufficient for you. Do you believe that?
This should be your one fixed desire to live only for me. Your life will be filled to the brim with good things. I've been waiting so long for the joy of giving you more. Help me. Ask me to do so. Stretch out your two empty hands to me. Give me a big place in your life. Give me all of it. Do you realize that you are in exile, waiting for the return of the beloved? Listen from afar. Say to him, breathe on this breath of mine which is yours. Your home shall be my home. I could no longer live without your step in mine and your voice in my voice. Don't people pray, open thou my lips. That's so that the Spirit will speak in you, children of God. November 18th The Fresen Church Yes, ask me to be your good will. Since you know that without me you can do nothing, you can't even pronounce my name with love without my help, my poor little child. If you only knew the love that suffered and died a shameful death for you, if you knew its power and tenderness, I carry you even more than a mother her child. I led you in the right paths, making plans for you to become holy. To be holy means to be always ready for me, keeping close to me, like other Christs. Oh, my dear little brothers, think of your model, your elder brother, who lived in utter simplicity so that it might be possible for you to become like him. I was so simple that I passed unnoticed except for those three years, when I had a feeble little following of twelve disciples. What a short life mine was, my child, for the salvation of all the ages. My love for my father guided all my actions. Enrich yours in the same way and stay close to me. All that is mine is yours, you know that. But you must come and take. It is such a joy for me to give. I only gain to lose for there is nothing I want to keep for myself. You remember when you were little how tenderly you asked your mother for what you wanted. Won't you have still more love when you talk to me? Find a heartfelt alon for me quite unlike any you give to others. Ask me to give it to you. Let it be deeper, more intimate, more full of trust and be generous enough to be ready to die for me. Oh, if only wave upon wave of love could bring you to the shores of death. What a direct preparation, my little girl. November 25th in Grand's Church. Offer even the rhythm of your breathing to me. Not just that of the body, but the stream of your soul thoughts. This may seem nothing to you, but it is your entire life and all of it belongs to me for love has all the rights of conquest. What sadness for both of us, if you were to keep something of yours off from me. From me. Oh, my little child day by day tighten the bonds that unite us. Be my joyous captive. Some have found such sheer delight in my sweet bondage that they could say my heart overflows with joy even in the midst of trouble. For I faithfully accompany my faithful ones and give strength and comfort to those who want so much to suffer for me. What they endure for me I endured before them, for I have suffered all things in the sufferings of my friends. Don't you suffer when you see someone you love suffer? Am I not the most tender of friends? Oh, believe me for this is a reality and it will encourage you to love me more. A little more each day ever so gently without taxing your soul. More frequent holy desires. A little upsoaring of your heart to me, an affectionate glance. Less time spent far from any remembrance of me, a sunnier loyalty, a silence of humility, a kindness for my sake. And never cease to thank me. I do so much for you, my beloved little girl. Don't you see that? And there are all the other blessings you never see. Oh, don't ever doubt. In a tone touched with emotion, don't doubt me. December 3rd, The Fresen Church. It takes so little from you to give me intense pleasure. If you had a more perfect knowledge of God you would understand this. Often you judge God according to human qualities. Remember that you are nothing that you are unworthy of my favors. Let your heart be filled with love as you ponder over all that I have given you this year filled with the desire to come closer to my holiness. Your desires please me. Don't put any trust in what you can achieve by your own efforts, but ask me to help you. And even in the spiritual domain, leave your own will behind. You will be in the highway of truth the rapid route. 
I was God, and yet I did only the will of my Father who sent me. Of course it's a mystery. But believe it. Little by little you will find your happiness in running away from the very thing you wanted if it is against my will. If you wish to be perfect you will live in my home, and you are on earth for that alone. December 9th The Fresen Church Never leave your immaculate mother. She won't leave you either. She loves you even more than your own dear mother. She suffered more to give birth to you, for she bore my death. Queen of Martyrs. If suffering increases love, just imagine the tenderness she feels for you. Nothing could ever quench it, not even your ingratitude. Thank her. Love her. Above all speak to her about your love, and this will draw you nearer to me. Where else would she lead you if not to me? She is much too humble to take for herself what belongs to me, she who lived for God alone. Ask her to teach you to live for me. Put all your trust in her. She will help you on your uphill climb, it is strenuous work climbing the mountain of perfection. Just when you think you're going up, you find that you are slipping back. Who will purify you? Who will put light into your mind, if not those who possess it the saints and the queen of all saints? See that you are very childlike with her. She was only a woman, but the woman. The other Eve was called the first woman, but my mother is the woman who crushed the head of the serpent. Live simply with us as at Nazareth. Nothing in our intimate life will be kept from you. I give everything I have, even the love of my mother. When you feel weak or alone, come to us. You don't need any introduction. We've known you for a long time and better than you know Yolzov. Our poor little child, humble Yolzov before our great love for you. Love, to comfort us for those who do not. December 24th, The Fresen Church. I said, Lord, move about in my thoughts night and day. Yes, let yours off be saturated like a sponge filled with water. Keep yours off before me. Would you be afraid to leave yours off to be filled with me? Be sure of this that when you lose yours off you gain, and when you seek yours off you lose. Reach up closer and closer to your maker. He created you. He knows all about you and how best you can serve him. And what your share is in the sanctification of the world for each one of you has some special contribution to make. What sorrow for you if you were to fail. If you didn't respond to the call. The bride takes her share in the work of the beloved, and the more love she brings to it, the less heavy it seems. For this work of love offer everything you do and think acting as best you know how to please me to be with me not to leave me alone for on earth I am often alone. How willingly would I take refuge in a faithful heart, so as to live there with my father. And I would transform this heart, filling it with such sweetness and happy simplicity. So grow accustomed to living in me. Try over and over again. Unceasingly. What delicate work, and what help we give those who give us their love will. My poor little children, when you have given us your trust, you are never alone. With what tenderness we carry you. Infinite tenderness. Unnumbered delicate touches, that would astonish and might even scandalize you if you could see them. A God. To love his creatures so much. Yes, and even more. Love that is our treasure. Believe with all your heart in this holy extravagance, and give yourself up to it unceasingly unceasingly for God's love is forever flowing to you, my little girl. December 30th The Fresen Church. Never alone you know that. Then let it be a source of strength to you. Strength to speak to me since I am there. Strength to act, since I can help you, particularly when you speak to others. Ask me to speak through you. Never alone. What a joy for you. Could you ever thank me enough? 1944. January 1st after communion. The keynote for this year, Hope in Me. January 13th, The Fresen Church.